Victoria. I'm part of the Alpha team at Maybridge and I'd like to share with you a couple of my favourite verses from the Bible with Alpha in mind. They come from chapter 1 of the Gospel of John verses 41 and 42 and they say this. The first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon and tell him, we have found the Messiah, that is the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. Now this was right at the beginning of Jesus's ministry and Andrew and Simon become two of the 12 disciples. There's two things I've always loved about these verses. One is, John says, the first thing Andrew did. There's this sense of urgency of it being highly important. It's just like us when we've got good news, we can't wait to pass it on. Andrew had realised who Jesus was and he knew immediately that he needed to tell other people. The second thing I love is John says, and he brought him to Jesus. Andrew didn't stop to try to explain to Simon who Jesus was. He didn't try to teach him or debate with him. Andrew had realised who Jesus was by spending time with him. So Andrew reckoned all he had to do was to get Simon to meet Jesus too. The Archbishop, a former Archbishop of Canterbury, William Temple, wrote a commentary on John's Gospel. And when he got to these verses, he wrote this short but momentous sentence. The greatest service that one person can do another. In other words, the best thing we can do for someone is to introduce them to Jesus. Just as when Jesus called his first disciples, he gave them a new purpose to become fishers of men. So when we begin to follow Jesus, we receive that new purpose too. In the Great Commission, which is in Matthew 28, it clearly states that we are all commanded to make disciples. There's no get out clause. We may not all be evangelists, but we can all go to our family, our neighbours and our work colleagues and invite them to meet Jesus. For most of us, the reason that we don't invite people is the risk of rejection. We're worried what will happen if they say no. Some years ago, Michael Harvey came and spoke at Maybridge. And Michael had a project called Back to Church and what he said that morning has always stuck with me. Michael said, it's our job to do the inviting, but the rest is up to God. That's his responsibility. We're planning to run another Alpha course later this year, although obviously at the moment we don't know what form that will take. But maybe you could spend some time thinking about and praying for the people in your life who you could bring to meet Jesus. I think that if we're all trying to do that together as a church, it might help us. And for those of you who don't know what Alpha is, it's a 12 week course, which is an introduction to the Christian faith. Alpha clearly explains the evidence for the life of Jesus and the resurrection. It shows very clearly that the Christian faith is reasonable. It explains strongly that it's primarily about a love relationship with Jesus Christ. There's a whole day given over to all aspects of the Holy Spirit. And although there's no pressure put on people, it is clearly explained that the Christian faith does require a response. The Alpha films themselves are extremely contemporary, having been refilmed in locations all across the world in 2016. And I think this is a great time to be starting conversations about faith, because we know that more people than ever are tuning in to church services. It might be a great opportunity for you to talk to people about what you've seen God do in your life during this crisis. So let's pray that we will be made bold to extend the invitation to people to come and encounter Jesus for themselves. Thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.